I'm, I'm leaving and you're staying here with your girlfriend. I realize that I'm a problem and that I never should have come here. So you can just go to New Orleans with everybody else and your posse and just have fun or whatever. I don't even care anymore. You're not making sense. What is wrong? Apparently I'm what's wrong. Look, I'm leaving. Don't follow me. October Baby is the story of um, Hannah, who discovers she was adopted and didn't know because she is a survivor of an abortion. And so she goes on a journey, kind of of self-discovery, a very empowering journey to find really who she is. In the process, what she really discovers is the true power of forgiveness. You'd be able to root for this character and to really, um, you know, to really fall in love with her personality and to really empathize with her, to laugh with her. Finding Hannah was really the most important thing that, uh, that we had to do. We had worked with a young uh, actress named Rachel Hendricks who uh, we had discovered uh, one of our crew members had done a short film uh, with her in it. That was her first time on screen. I saw that and I, I, there was just something there. There was something about her. There was a spark. She just had this quality on camera that she just, it just really drew you in. And so we cast her in a Michael W. Smith video. Um, it was our first you know, big music video. There's just something very special about her. So we put her in, we began to put her in music videos, um, commercials, car commercials, and she just kept getting better. With this one, we had one of two decisions to make. Either we go for a known actress to play the role of Hannah and try to uh, fit that actor into that role, or we just felt like if Rachel just really went for it, that the role was her. She could absolutely be Hannah. That, that's enough. I don't know how to interrupt there. I'll figure that out. Um, <laughs> it didn't so I'm not really listening to what she's saying until she says, that Hannah, that's enough. And then I'm like, oh, got it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I can't believe that you would lie to me. You can't believe I would lie to you. Get in the car. We're going home now. No. Come on. Get in the car, now. Fine. Fine. Rachel does um, two of the hardest things uh, in the acting world. Uh, she listens and she responds. So she's great, and my understanding is that she had very little experience, really, before this. That is a gift to, to, to hold on to and know that people are gonna walk away and when they imagine Hannah, they're gonna see they're gonna see my face. You know, I'm not Hannah, but it's something that they've encountered. I wanted to be a part of that. I'm angry at my real mom for not wanting me. Why didn't she want me? What's so wrong with me? You just have an instinct sometimes as a director about somebody. You can't get away from this gut feeling that this person is special. It's neat to see someone that hasn't done something before, that they don't quite know if they're capable of. And then they rise to the occasion. And that was, that's what we saw with Rachel. Either Andy or John found her somewhere and took a huge risk and put her in th their film as the lead but I think it's gonna pay off big time. Especially with October Baby, she had, she had a lot of tough emotional scenes. It was like we were seeing someone just blossom every day. To see her become Hannah, I can't imagine any, anybody else playing this role. Yeah, I really, really was really impacted by this film. I think the portrayal of her emotions, Hannah's emotions in particular, were very well done. I, for me personally, was able to emotionally dive into the reality of this story and feel it. And something shifted in me, and I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs>